where do you think it's gonna head? Like right now, it's it's just scheduling meetings, right? Like what's what's the next step? What's yeah. the vision? So people ask that a lot, but we are super focused on just scheduling meetings. That's that's all we're gonna do. That's all we're ever gonna do. But we want to expand beyond everything within your calendar, and so we want to set up everything on your calendar, and we want to help you manage everything that's related to meetings and meeting up with people. So whether that's being able to book a meeting room for you if you are scheduling a meeting with a group of people who are coming into the office, we want our AI to be smart enough to say, okay, there's a group of six, we need to book a meeting room at the WeWork for six people. Mm -hmm. Or if you're meeting up with friends for dinner, we want our AI to be able to make the restaurant reservation oh, gotcha, for you. Gotcha. Okay. And right now we're also only over email, so we mm -hmm. want the AI to eventually be able to work over Slack or text because it's like mm -hmm. meetings happen everywhere, they don't just happen over email. Mm -hmm. They're mm -hmm. mostly over email, but you know, you're also coordinating with friends gotcha. on different platforms. So, okay, so, so that's uh, we're going to expand. I, I, I kind of see more of the vision now. It's it's not just going to yeah. be, uh, me, it's not just going to be business meeting. It's going to be like restaurant, coffee dates. Yeah. Uh, like like book me this, book me this ticket at this show. Yeah. And because it understands all the all like what it, what exactly you're trying to say, it's going to do it for you. Totally. And, and we uh, also want it to learn new languages too. So right now we're in English, uh, but mm -hmm. you know there's a whole host of people out there. Chinese who are would be scheduling, crazy. Yeah, meetings in other languages. So and be next. And okay, so like obviously it, it understands words. Mm -hmm. So I'm sure the switch to voice will be pretty easy. Yeah, so we, that's not something we've totally thought about ourselves, but I think that we're also going to be, you know, moving into a place where a lot of these AI are going to be integrating with each other. So, like, we see a future where one day you'll be able to ask Alexa to ask Amy to set up a meeting for you. So maybe we <laughs> won't directly have the voice platform mm -hmm. or voice integration, but with these other AI it's gonna be really easy for AI to connect and like speak to each other, almost easier than like human to AI. And so it would actually be, you know, awesome and we think like totally feasible for us to set up, you know, a connection on Amazon's Echo platform yeah. where like you can have Alexa talk to Amy to set up a meeting for you. Mm -hmm. And so it's really Amy doing it, but Alexa's kind of the like in between the person and the other AI. And in terms of the data you've been talking about, is it just through uh, the people who've been using it? Yeah. So the way that it works is we don't read, you know, everyone's emails or anything. The only thing we see are emails that our AI has been CC'd on. Mm -hmm. And then that gets sort of fed into our system so we can annotate the data points mm -hmm. and train our, you know, AI models to better understand. 